Hello everybody and welcome back to Nan with a Backpack. In this video, I am really excited to share with you Port Barton. It was one of my favourites, it really was. I did a fantastic tour while I was there as well. I did get very sunburnt. But anyway, this is my time in Port Barton. This is our bus. We've just stopped for a comfort break at a, a little restaurant toilet stop just on the side of the road here. The roads are really, really good, but our driver is a bit crazy. Take your life in your hands, really, because he's going so fast down these little winding roads. I've arrived in Port Barton and it looks lovely. Really looking forward to finding my hostel now. It's only about a five minute walk, so I'm gonna wander down and find it. It looks like this is my hostel. I take Tay in. Fabulous. Hello. This is my room in Port Barton. It is lovely. It's like a little wicker room. There's no air conditioning. But yeah, it's lovely. I've got my own little balcony as well. Look at that. Wow. down through the food market and there's a little basketball court all under cover. That evening I ate at Tuba Caf. It was really really nice and I had pork adobe which is a local dish and the owner of the calf was so nice we had our picture taken together. Good morning. This morning I've come down to the boat dock and we're off on an island hopping excursion. This one is our boat for the day. These look like fun. So guys, did it over the night. But now we're going towards the sandbar, then after that we're going to snorkeling area. Then after snorkeling, we go to the island. Then after we're going to Turtle's Club. Then on the way back, so we can do also a uh, snorkeling as well. Then go to the island. Okay? Have a good day. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. The first stop is the sandbar. It's a little rocky underfoot, but 
Oh my word, it's so beautiful. And the water is really warm as well where it's shallow. Wow, there's starfish everywhere in the water. I've never seen them out in the wild before. Okay, so good. How lucky am I? This is amazing. I've never seen starfish out in the wild before. I am so lucky to be doing this. Okay, first small big stop. I'm looking forward to this. The water is lovely and warm. Let's go and see what we can see. <laughs> this is the island we're going to be having your lunch. We're going to be here in about an hour and 30 minutes. So you can also go to the next island. They call it the secret island, but I'm not sure that it's too much of a secret really. The Philippines are beautiful, stunningly beautiful. And I'll just show you, up there, I think there's a viewpoint you can walk to, so I think that's what I might do. You've got to walk across that water there. I took my bag back because it is quite deep. <laughs> and I didn't want to fight with my bag. Oh, the water is so lovely. <laughs> I do wish I'd bought my walking sandals instead of my flip-flops. I think that's as far as I'm going to go. Wow. That view is spectacular. Okay, so I walked up here to up there. If I'd gone to the gate, <laughs> oh dear. There's always one, isn't there? How do I get myself into these situations? But anyway, it was a nice view up there. <laughs> I'm going to walk across because the guys are cooking lunch now. So I'm going to walk back across for some dinner because I'm hungry. 
Right, so next time I do one of these island hopping tours, remind me to wear my walking sandals and not my flip-flops because it's very rocky and my feet are wet and they are sliding around in my shoes. Epic fail. <laughs> this is what you're walking over. The other beach, it's nice and sandy. But in my flip-flops, my feet are sliding everywhere. And I'm really struggling. <laughs> Next time, I will remember. So once you walk across to the island, for 100 pesos, <laughs> it's got to be done. Oh, and it's ice cold as well. Lovely. And now I'm going to head back and have a spot of lunch. The guys are preparing us a lunch. I'm so hungry now. Well, we've just had the most amazing lunch ever. We had chicken, we had fish, we had rice, we had noodles, there was fresh fruit. Amazing. And with an outlook like this. It can't be bad, eh? There's definitely worse places to have lunch. <laughs> and then in about half an hour, once our food has gone down, we're going to go turtle spotting. He's not sure whether we'll see any today. The one we did see at the snorkeling stop was actually asleep. Don't blame him. And oh gosh, look at these. There's lots of fish all around me. Did you see them? Those little black and white ones. It's good to be back on the islands. This island is called Paradise. I can honestly say, yeah, it's paradise. And we're going to be here for an hour and a half. Perfect. Definitely the best day so far. Cheers. Philippines, you've met the mark and surpassed it by far. Good morning everybody. It is just before 7am in the morning. It's a beautiful morning. I am still suffering with sunburn after my little trip out on the island hopping tour. Not yesterday but the day before because yesterday I spent the whole day in bed. But I am really I don't know if you can see, I am really still quite tender. <laughs> it's the first time in years that I can remember that I've actually caught in the sun like that. But we were out all day with the reflection off the water and the wind and it just felt cool. My silly fault. I have loved my stay here. It's been really really nice i have to say the road noise 
has been quite loud it only disturbed me one night out of the three but it's a lovely place okay the wi-fi is a little sketchy but that's to be expected because we're on an island in the philippines also when you're on an island sometimes the water comes and goes for a few hours yesterday there was no water either but i think that makes half of the charm really because if you're going to come somewhere like this that's what you're going to experience but anyway today eight o'clock i'm going to walk one two roads up to go and catch a bus which will take four hours which will head up to El Nido. 